Hello everyone, my name is Fazal. You are watching MFA Civil Engineering. The manufacturing of a brick consists of the following four operations like preparation of a clay, molding, drying, and burning. The preparation of a clay is done manually or by mechanically excavator. It consists of the following operations like unsoiling, digging, cleaning, weathering, blending, and tempering. Unsoiling consists of removing a vegetation and impurities in a topsoil. Digging is a process of excavation of a clay. Clay is dug manually or by machine and heap up to a certain height above the ground. Cleaning is a process in which a impurity like a stone, pebbles, conker particles and any other garbage are removed from the heap of a dig out clay. Weathering involves a spreading of a clean clay in a 600 mm to 1200 mm thick layer and expose it to the atmosphere for a period of at least one month. It gives the better effect on the plasticity and the strength of the clay. Blending is the process in which a mixture of a clay and the other material like a chalk and the sand is done by a turning the mixture up and down in a vertical direction. Tempering is a process of kneading the clay into a homogeneous mass with a uniform consistency and the plasticity for a molding process. Kneading is either done by the man or a cattle. If the brick are manufactured on the large scale, then the clay is tempered by the passing the clay through a pug mill. The pugged clay is taken out from the opening at the bottom of the iron tub and the pugged clay is ready for the next operations. Molding is a process of giving the desired shape to the tempered clay by the hand or a machine. Molding of brick may be done on a ground or on a table. If done on a ground, it is called as a ground molded brick and if on a table, it is called as a table molded brick. For a hand molding of a brick, wooden mold or a steel mold are preferably used. The mold is either deep in a water or a sand. Clay is introduced in a mold firmly, then mold is lifted and a slight jerk is given to it and invert on a ground to release the molded brick. In table molding, table is used for the molding. The molded brick are laid on a pallet board in case of a table molding. Hand molding is a very popular in India for getting a depression called as a frog on a molded brick. The arrangement is done in a mold itself. Machine molding is a advantageous when the large number of a bricks are to be a manufacturer in a short time and where the clay is a hard. These bricks are the cheap and the better in quality. Drying is a process wherein the first objective is to evaporate all the superfluous moisture contained at the time of the molding without damaging the brick. And the second objective is to make the bricks hard enough to handle during the operation in a clamp or in a kiln for burning. Bricks can be dried by a two process like a natural drying process or an artificial drying process. In case of a natural drying process, molded raw bricks are arranged in a row on their edges on a raised ground called as a hex, keeping a space in between the bricks for a circulation of air which helps for the fast drying. Bricks are kept as such in open air for a 1 to 2 weeks. Natural drying is not desirable in a monsoon season. In case of an artificial drying process, this method is feasible when the large quantity of bricks are required in a short time. The bricks are dried in a special furnace built for this purpose by passing a hot flue gases from the cooling chamber. Burning is the last and important operation in the manufacturing process of the brick. Bricks should be burned properly. Burning is done for the purpose like it removes the water from the clay completely, it imparts hardness and strength to brick, it makes the brick more dense and durable, it gives the reddish color to the bricks. Bricks may be burned by two methods like a clamp burning or a kiln burning. In clamp burning, the brick and fuel such as the coal stone or wood are placed in an alternate layer for the process of burning in open air. The local name of a clamp is a wheat butty. Clamp using a coal produce a better quality of a brick than using a wood as a fuel. Holes are kept at the bottom of a clamp throughout the length of clamp for the ignition. Clamp burning having a various advantage like it is a cheap and economical, it produce tough and hard brick, it does not require a skill labor and supervision for installation. There is a lot of saving in fuel. 
also clam burning having a various limitations like it is a slow process uniform fire cannot be regulated and some of the bricks are underburned and overburned it required dry atmosphere and hence it cannot be a use in a rainy season it is suitable when the bricks are to be a manufacture on a small scale in kiln burning the bricks are stacked without any fuel the fire places are arranged below the stack of brick fire is lighted below the stack and keep continuously till the bricks are burned the kiln has a permanent enclosure wall inside which bricks are placed over the fire the bricks are burned uniformly all over the stack portion of a brick no bricks are underburned or overburned or cracked or warped in a kiln it is not economical as like a clamp burning